just love this opening we've been seeing. Oh, right up. Ooh, the shard block wasn't really a block in the sense of catching him in the shards. And yeah, he's able to kind of eat through the tree. So, oh, oh Death Prophet bought him, though. That could be a killing Death Prophet. Silent, he's trying to live. The siphon's up, but it looks like the Battle Hunger going to help tick him down. Mind Control will get deliver anything yet. And I believe level one Battle Hunger doesn't take re refraction charges off. It goes through it because it's such a low damage instance. Oh, really? I believe so, obviously. Okay. We'll have to see the interaction there. Yeah. Slark, going to have that Dark Pact active, of course, so he'll be fine here, but not going to take some extra pressure at least. Just again, want to force some region out, if anything. No kill, though. Silent might be dying. In fact, there you go, Arcane Bolt. Sitting on a silence if you do it before the Dark Pact comes out. It'll be very tough. So Visage is end up, ends up playing this as a kind of offlane, sort of, obviously for the matchup purposes here. But yeah. Matuma Man down here in the offlane had a pretty weak Death Prophet game last the last game, of course, with the matchup and everything. So far, only 10 and 3 CS, but Visage a hero that, until level 6, you know that may be the case at the top lane. The Snowball's going to come out for the save, looking for a turn. Miracle, he'll fall back to Dark Pact active. No fear, may fall. Yes, the auto attack from Kuroki finishing the job. So kind of saved his Doom teammate initially, but goes down himself. Yep. Right when I tins for her, she's three to thou three to four thousand net worth above everyone else. But yeah. he's having a good game. But Liquid, I have a feeling you're going to see him control those ancients. Well, that and control the TA as far as roaming on her early on. In fact, they need to go on her because Mind Control's being towed from FTM. Mind Control gets some spins off though. He does go down, but sets up to return damage on Iceberg. Iceberg running away. The magic missile connects though, and we'll finish the job on him. Always want to fly. Tower damage. If anything, will help finish him off. And no fear, the sole survivor on his side. So far, so yeah, it's TA, even with that death, is doing pretty good. He's playing your Visage to not have a super garbage lane. It's 31-7, but at least the Visage has 18-3, versus that TA would be a lot worse, so... You're gonna be you're gonna be happy if you're Matumba man, as God said. Farm's not the worst early. Oh, well, Matumba's in trouble right here. The shard block forced to go around it. That might buy the time for the Crypts. In the very far at the last second, Matumba man will survive for now. No, Death probably gets the final auto attack off and successfully gets the kill as a result. That Voodoo restoration also kicking in, making sure to keep Silent alive and. He'll do just that, so good play. And, uh, you know, I go back to the Visage, though, again. Visage always feels like that kind of pick in the landing phase. That's Kuroki! Oh. The side blades coming through. Iceberg takes him out as a result. GH goes down at the yeah. bottom lane. They're just diving here at the bottom of Tumba. Again, until level 6, he's oh, no, a pretty weak hero. Jeez. T in trouble? Yeah. Uh, just going back to the game three yesterday against Virtus Pro, uh, or game two, excuse me, against Virtus Pro, they were they were down, it was like seven nothing in hero kills. We were thinking like, okay, here goes VP, yeah. you know, taking off. They came back and they ended up winning that game. Of course, it decides to fashion. For the most part, the Colding Blade was early, no fear. He ends up dying in the end, but Axe was desperate at that point. He just wanted to set up the turn kill, as he kind of did right there. But now Skyrath also gets caught by the cast. He was not ready for that. GH, one more auto attack will do him in the side of the iceberg. He's diving with that refraction, though. GH. Is he hiding enough? No, he bunts him. He hunts him down. Double kill. Coming up for Iceberg. And now Kuroki with the late TP. That magic missile. Not going to be nearly enough. That refraction lasting just long enough. Iceberg picks up the triple kill. And he'll walk it up. And Miracle goes down solo top kill. And it's solo kill. The Doom was used right there, as you see. What is happening for Liquid? Light and Moon just looking good. I love that dive middle because they have the creeps pushing the tower with them, right? He would have died if they just go solo and silent. Well, we'll go down finally. But it's going to be a turn. Maybe Visage spawns those familiars. Maybe not. Him, yeah. Always want to fly. It's going to be turned. That's totally what I meant. And that's the Vis when you're at level six, you can have no items. He has medallions, please. You can have no items, and you still just output so much. Yeah, you do. But top lane miracle. You see no fear nearby. Of course, no doom this time. No, but he's low on life. He did not expect the tusk. Of course, he does have a shadow dance. However, he will survive for now. Doom, pretty committed. Kuroki can only do so much damage though. And Ankrata will be able to walk it off. It looks like a rotation from GH is coming in, though. Cuts a shot of the Arcane Bolt. Puts on that Ancient Seal. Not that enhanced was... enough damage, though. He's just too beefy, man. Yeah, and that's slow. Ended up going on the Tusk, not the Doom. That was weird. And they're going, actually, on a Kuroki. They will lose a Tusk. The Crypts are eh, not the greatest thing right there. Kuroki living a little bit longer, but he goes down. GH falls as well. Rotation from Iceberg. Miracle just figures, okay, I might as well farm some neutral creeps in the meantime. Yeah, they're playing with numbers. They know it's hard, right? What if can't TP True. with them unless you resummon them? So they're forced to stay down bottom or fly around somewhere else. And he is middle now. That's the thing. Matumba just... A hero that can't TP and do anything, really. Oh, well, the familiar sound is the cast bounce back, though. No Maledict initially. It comes out late, and Visit will be fine, Iceberg. I don't think he's really in trouble. Just some harassment counter. 
Love the, the early level of heal. You see a few other Witch Doctors going yeah. up, but in a game like this, you know, Good Battle value. Hunger as well, just tons of value. Absolutely, yeah. So, rotation's happening across the map. You already talked about the Visage going mid. Uh, you see Nankarada now on Doom. He's headed towards the bottom lane as Axis made his way oh, down here as well. They're going to run into each other. Kuroki, they'll spot it. He's going to be sharp blocked in. Tusk is a little low. Battle Hunger applied. Kuroki at least going to set up a turn. Familiars are in here as well. So Visage looking for some turn kills. No fear. They'll go down first. Now Grata going to keep on running with that Scorched Earth. Always want to fly. Nice stuff. He doesn't have Scorched Earth. He's a little slower. And they'll take advantage of that. So they make it a two for one. All they lost was their own. Finn obviously can't dark pack that off. It just, it hurts. I, Kyle made that reaction with the Sark pick, especially against the Doom as you're talking about. And the fact that he already has a solo kill, yeah, definitely uh, something to worry about if you're liquid as this game picks up. Iceberg, also somebody you want to be worrying about with a fraction up. Ancient Seals applied, but he's just too tanky. In fact, has plenty of support coming in. That uh, snowball, <laughs> a little too deep there. The shard block hitting GH, but Mangrado will kind of zone them out. And I think... No kills are going to come from that, or maybe they will. Matumbo Man's pretty deep here, but now he's going to be flanked on. Nice silence on a Doom. I don't know if that was an Inferno Blade animation or the it's Doom itself, doom, yeah. but Matumbo Man, he will eventually be run down. Ice was waited five seconds, obviously. Maybe Slark would have already ran back, but without Scorcher, you're not getting that kill now. Grave chill. A lot of damage. Tusk, I don't think he's getting away from that. <laughs> That's so much slow. Of course, from the Visage being applied. So Matumbo. And doing his best to recover as he heads towards middle or top lane, excuse me. But speaking of the middle lane, silent exorcism going to be used, and they're going to go for their second tower kill of the game. Yeah. Although Axe is here, I've been seeing a lot of these games. Doesn't feel like the teams have like these natural tower hitters on radiance. I know you have DP and TA, so if you if you win a fight or get a few pickups, you are going to get objectives what as well the, as Roche. What do you think of the drums first on Death Prophet coming out? Oh, little tanker. I like the moves. I noticed Fly to Moon always plays the move speed game, right? You always yeah. see the the track. You always see at least drums this game. Look at that, the drums plus the casual wind lace. It's all about move speed for them. They're going in, but the exorcism is returning right as they initiated it. Now GH is in trouble. Maledict on him, turning with some auto attacks. A Crypt Storm coming the through, burn. and GH is definitely dead to the Maledict. Silent, the Siphon's up on Mind Control. Mind Control's running him down. The Wave of Terror coming out as well. Kuroki wants to enhance the damage, finish the job. Finally, GH goes down. Oh. The cooling flame was early. The Siphon isn't up. Silent does fall, but it gets the turn kill on a Mind Control before, and now TA will be able to take out the Vengeful Spirit. Unstoppable streak as now committed by Iceberg. Matumba. That positioning by Silent. Axe, uh, as always, the Blink Dagger timing. Uh, wonder how close we are to that. I, I assume maybe the Vanguard first, as we do usually see. Always want to fly. A okay. A typical oh, death for him. Just <laughs> yeah. getting some vision down, but it's still alive with the healing and the wand. If it's a death. It's not a death yet, and now Michael needs to be careful over committing. They're going to turn on him. Out of supply. That's a quick turn kill with that death slater. They do lose Witch Doctor, but he baits out enough to get at least the turn kill on a core. Playing that axe, and now GH. He's got in the ice shards. GH regretting his decision immediately. Groki's nearby. He does have a swap. Can't make a play, though. Buyback from Axe. What is going on here? Look, they really want to make a turn here. Iceberg eventually going to be called up. Groki surviving for now. The snowball in, though. They go forward. The call went up. Iceberg gets the kill on a eventual spirit. Iceberg, no refraction, though. Finally, they take out. Templar Assassin, an eight kill streak stopper going the way of mind control. So it does seem like that buyback is worth it. Yep, definitely, especially now without the gold reduction. Nice block there. Should still go down though. Yeah. Pounce over. Well, oh this my guy's gosh. good. This guy, he's just wasting time. This is true <laughs> space creation. It really is. There you go. <laughs> Try to kill a creep. At the but last second. Because the X does get that kill after the buyback, and it cuts what, like a 250 gold buyback. He gets 800 gold. He has the blink dagger now. Yeah. I don't think he has Vanguard. Oh, I have to double check and get the chance, but you see middle lane, Fengeful, Kuroki, he's probably dead. That cask, that cask is not being going. forgiving, man. And this is it. This is classic Fly to Moon, even with a lot different hero picks. They're just taking over the early game and they're continuing to pressure. I like how Liquid's actually pressuring back now, though. This is my kind of Dota. 19 to 17 hero kills right now. We have 36 hero kills in 14 and a half minutes, yeah. Grants. That is absolutely insanity. And it's just going to be more. GH is also caught. Death, oh, oh, okay. Death I mean, I've always said Blink ASAP. He went tranquil on top of that, of course. 
So at least he has the blink, but as you're talking about, this is a free road shot. And I'm sure TA, yep, Iceberg will pick it up, but they want to make a kill happen right away. It's been about a minute. Why not make another kill take place? Kuroki, Mystic Flare return. Tusk is dropping, but not dropping fast enough. He'll survive. Heal's coming out as well with the Booty Respiration. And they just end up running down two heroes. The Exorcism finally now wearing off for Silence. So talking a value exorcism right there. Roshan into two hero kills. Yeah, this is the big thing. You saw like the always want to fly Wind Ranger was so broke last game because they didn't take that much at all, man. The shrine actually worked up. He's probably going to hit the shrine, but will it be enough? Another Infernal Blade is up. Mm. But he does get out of vision, so he gets the move speed. And now Mind Control, though, being bait, but they want Slark. They're like, we want this kill. It's going to get a ulti. Going to get the blade off or anything. Mind Control will die, but I think Slark is going to live. Yeah, Miracle. He'll survive. Tusk, though. He sees him for a split second, the shard. And if you're flying a moon on the backside, Vistage isn't really a come from behind. Neither no. is Axe. Like, they want to keep up the pressure. You have an Axe Skywrath. Those are free kills for the most part, and they just haven't got any, really. Well, Sark will find the free kill, but at what cost for him? They kill Tusk elsewhere, so two for nothing. Yeah, I mean, he went Helmet of Dominator, but... This is the thing. He hasn't really been in many of the fights, but he does have items to show for. Luckily, Helmet sure. of Dominator, Medallion, even the Point Booster. He's pretty damn tanky. Caster's Curse, maybe. Matama Man gonna be rolled on. Walrus Punch to follow. The Exorcism is applied, so if you're like good, you do really want to fight into this, but you may have to, to save your teammate. Iceberg coming nice from the side. Heels. Blink, nice heals as you mentioned. Mind Control. Now he's in no man's land. Matama Man gonna be right down. The Mystic Flare trip is on the mount, but down goes Mind Control, and it looks like Flight of Moon when they want more. Kuroki, side trap, hits him. Double kill for Silent. Trying to get the Courier even on top of it, but they cannot run that down. Miracle just sitting on the outskirts. They also got GH. That's four kills just on Grotto. Once again, right, we haven't talked much about him, but these dooms he's getting off on Slark every time, the drums, I just, I love the movement speed, I really do, Fly the Moon just abuses stuff like that, and wow, look who they Miracle. find, oh, that's a big kill, the Walrus punch the side blades, Miracle will live with the Shadow Dance for now, he has a shrine use, he's not even going to go for it though, he knows it's really no chance, Iceberg with a killing spree, Grant, we're only 19 minutes in, it's not often a team comes back from this much of a deficit this early especially on. without these here, you know, mate, they don't have the black hole, oh man, let's get back, they don't have the, the reverse polarity, they don't have something like that. They just have to straight up outplay uh, yeah. Fly to Moon now. That's what it's going to come down to, but the way Flat Moon's playing, momentum is all theirs. Still have the Aegis, they're not too scared. They're going to go in, Mind Control, he's dead. No buyback on him, no buyback on Miracle. They're also going to catch Matama Man, the swap at the last second, but the dude's on him, and M Matama's dead. He has a buyback, he will use it. They're not even going for objectives. Their objectives are kill the damn heroes, and they're doing that right here, right now. Right now, Visage is the only one up. Finally, they get the Aegis. He's not crying with a snowball save from his teammate. He will finally fall, though. Okay, so Fly to Moon, over committing of sorts. Again, the objective staying alive that whole time. Nice, stunned with a familiar, by the way. No fear, there not TP. And you're going to end up having what will probably be three kills in response now from Liquid. So, Fly to Moon, I think they were, to say the least. They don't know about the Shadow Blade, I don't believe. Does he have Doom? No, it's still Manic Cooldown, yeah. You so no stop mind initiation. control, yep. Gonna find mind control, Matama Man off to the side, but that's, oh my god. That's an axe that just got two shot, essentially, by a TA double damage. And they're, they're hunting for more, why not? See ya. Again, what can Liquid do? They they cannot respond to these movement speed half the time. I, I just don't know you get away from Fly to Moon. Miracle here, he's gonna have to have an outstanding game. You don't just have it, uh-oh. Oh, find silent. a free kill on Silent. Yep. He has blink, but it won't be off cooldown, no. Okay, well, uh, hey, uh, over and over. He can't be having this, like, downtime at all. And he's doing a good job. 13,000 net worth for the TA right now. Kill. Slark, there's another one. So you have so to do. That's what it, that's, he's, the, he's the hero that hunts for kills. And he's finding a couple back-to-back, -back, so that's going to be a comeback mechanic for Liquid. Meanwhile, Doom is applied to Axe. It does allow Slark to be more aggressive, perhaps. He's going to use that birds. Shadow Dance, sitting on top of the Iceberg. The familiar in as well. Iceberg, great force tap over the ledge. Keep it alive for now. Will it be enough? He's going to build up. Refraction in six more seconds. Not enough. He goes down. Iceberg's dead for a minute. Here's the comeback chance for Liquid even more so. Mystic Flare. Nakarada's running out of it, but no. Too much damage. And Liquid's finding these openings. 8,000 net worth lead still for Flight of Moon, but it is closing about 3,000 or so since the last time we saw it here. These birds, that, that's a scary part. If you get the leash from Slark, those birds are going to do so much, and it's a guaranteed two-stun follow-up. And now Silent gets caught by the swap. Snowball's nearby. He's going to go inside. TA gets still dead, though. That's a lot of damage that they're missing out. Kuroki, though, the Death Lord dealing plenty in return. They will pick off both GH as well as the Vengeful. No fear. Walrus Punch right before he goes down. Miracle, the Exorcism has to respect that damage, especially with the Siphon up on one of the familiars right there. So Silent 
Taking enough, staying alive, but Tubman Man on the outskirts. Oh. Chase him with the flakes on the goes right next to him. That Griff Sermon will finish the job. Double kill for him. The time we're looking at. I also saw a blink on Tusk, by the way. It's just how so they are. Whoa, there's a dust use. The trap, mind control. He's, he's alive for now, but Silent trying to change that. Going in the Mystic Flare, spreading some damage, though. The siphon's up on two different targets. Familiar stuns. They pick up points, talk to the back lines. Miracle does more so. And now Silent, he's overcommitted. Iceberg's not even close. He's actually pushing up bottom lane during all of this. So, numbers advantage is looking good for Liquid and guaranteed call of axe. Uh oh. I think it's just more so. Okay, well, refraction in the blink, so he's fine for now. Get to the point in a second. There's a swap, though. Another refraction going up, but Iceberg knows he's dead. It, it, it's so cool. That early lead. Yeah. that you have and not even give Liquid that chance, but it does feel like Fly to Moon is starting to get out of position and, and Liquid, of course, is capitalizing on it. Yeah, and I love this Vestage pick just because they have these guaranteed stuns after the call or after the pounce. Oh, comes in, pounces, free kill, and now Roche is up. If you steal wow. this from Fly to Another more now. <laughs> the whole splitting up and uh, doing our own thing in these last couple of oh matches has not been working on the best, but they're going to run right into a trap. There's an issue to my control with the call. Catches TA. They burst on Doom. He buys back quickly, though. Shadow Dance for Miracle, so that's going to be on cooldown now. Mind control the swap out, keeping him alive for a little bit longer. No, he goes down, though, Kroki. Now, of course, he's in a bad spot because of that swap. He will fall. And the Doom buyback proving to be worth it so far, at least in terms of a response chance for FTM. Yep. That's what you had to ask, but hurts a little bit. And it will. That just little wears down. off, though. Oh. But TA. Pushing uh -oh. out top. Is Tusk dead? Probably. Yes. JH will just steal. About the synergy between these two, between these two heroes, as well as the Axe. And he's just looking for more. This guy's crazy. Yeah, he knows not got us here. The Doom turn, though. Iceberg is coming. Sark may be overcommitted. Here comes the damage of Iceberg. They get the stun, and yes, Miracle will fall. So that's going to be an Aegis use. Now, can he somehow get out? No Doom after the fact, of course. Silent's currently up on Doom himself. Siphons from Silent. Iceberg. Hurricane Pike away. Miracle sitting in that Shadow Man. So he wants to fight more. Witch Doctor going to be picked off. And so far, it's an eye for an eye with the two supports going down on either that's side. And now Tusk with a die back. He does. So. He does indeed. Wave of terror there. cooldowns pretty pretty standard on Venge. There you go. Liquid, they really want to pick this fight, Witch Doctor. Oh. That's a free kill. Essentially a three shot. Do that again, right? If somehow there's a fight at Roche and you don't want your birds there, you can just go take a tier three if needed. Uh-oh. Oh, Miracle finds TA. Now, Miracle's by himself completely. So, yeah, that seems like a very ambitious place to be in. In fact, the Eels will catch him. Shadow Dance, maybe. No, he's going to be sized up by the Orca. There's nice. the Dark Pact with the Shadow Dance, though. Dark Pact, pretty clutch ability. He's still not out of the woods just yet, literally. Auto attacks connecting. The side stuff, Dark Pact's not going to matter. The gem will drop as well. As he falls, he's dead for 90 seconds. No, or he does have a buyback, excuse me, but... Uh -oh. Will they use it as a question? Skyrath. He's going to be run down now. Go Scepter. Feels like it's just going to delay the inevitable, though. A couple more auto attacks, and GH does go down. Iceberg, credit for the kill there. There's the buyback from GH, not Slark just yet. And that's honestly, that's just a big mistake for Miracle. Going too deep, and now he has to fly back because Kuroki is going to end up losing his life. But Tumble Man's doomed over the back lines, and he's just trying to run the familiar stunts, keeping him alive. My control with that Mystic Flare on top of the Tusk, and Death Prophet, Death Prophet goes down. Now Krata, the Colin Glade to cut his head off right there. Down goes three, and they're also going to get a fourth at which Dr. Most likely Iceberg's thinking of going back in, though. He wants GH for the Ghost Scepter. The Ghost Scepter meaning getting all of that damage. Mind control, he's just going to head to the trees. Iceberg going back into this fight and regretting his decision, I'm sure. But GH will finally go down, but at what cost? There's the Berserker's call, and there. There's the decapitation, a.k.a. the cooling blade. Called the blade mill and the mystic flare hitting two of them while they were hitting the blade milled axe. Whoops. Just a perfect team fight for mind control, man. And Miracle is going to find another free kill on Witch Doctor, and that's a dieback. The lead for like five minutes, not net worth lead, pardon me, but just like the lead Overall. of the game, you can tell. Yeah. Miracle maybe a bit Dang. of a miscue at the top lane initially, but it worked out in the end for Liquid. And that's going to be Melee Rax as well as the Range Rax. And all Fly to Moon can do is just well. That's one of those things you're like, why are they letting a yeah. damage our tower? There has to be something up on the map. Middle lane, an aggressive swap. It's a Witch Doctor. He, okay. Well, they, they got him. He's dead for 50. I mean, takes the heal off, takes the cast. That can be annoying. Now, Iceberg. He will probably show himself and hit this tower, maybe, but see you later, Rax. Yeah, they are just dropping the Rax in the Radiant base. Those familiars, especially with the AC buff. Who no. farmed very well early. Courier is coming back for DP's item here. Slowly. 
slowly but surely it's gonna be. That's a, that's a rich chicken. Yeah, that, <laughs> you do not want to lose that guy there. Now Garada, he gets picked off. He's dead for a minute. Don't want to lose buyback him either, ready. but you did. <laughs> He's got the buyback though. Doom is ready to use as well. There's a side finish on Death Prophet and Allfire, so FTM of sorts is really all in right here. And I love this. We, we didn't really talk, because it's only one aura, but the, the damage aura on Croaky with just the birds, even. Mm -hmm. Aggressive swap once again. That caps the TA. She's dead wow. for 95. No buyback for her. Sana just runs in with the exit, and they're desperate right now. Not the most damage, but will it be enough? Miracle got very low, actually, but he pops the Shadow Dance. He'll pounce on out, and he will be fine. So Vengeful, of course, died after that aggressive swap. But definitely the key target dead in the Templar Assassin. Just the timing. That, that's a, I mean, Liquid just being a team who's been together so long. The swap time to finish off Tier 4. They will lose the Aegis right there. We do hear it, but again, I don't fun. think they're still really that concerned. It's not having to commit anyone to Siege. Mind Control will lead the way. That's going to be no buyback on Witch Doctor. And now the Ancient exposed. Doom just jumps in. they got to try something. He gets the Doom Effect up on a Slark, but he's going to melt immediately. No surprise there. No fear. He goes in. The mission is to kill Slark, and it's just not going to work. GG, well played. Game 2 going the way of Liquid. And that means, Grant, we got a Game 3. We do have a Game 3, and that was that was a, a steamroll. That was what FTM won in the early game. They got exactly everything they want. You have the TA, you have the Death Proud. Good ultimates all game from the Death Proud up to like the